Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, we continue to race towards the B system spoken of in the pages of end times Bible prophecy. More specifically, in Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the church, during the coming tribulation period, according to scripture, there will be a system in place that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. It's a system that will be able to control all buying and selling. So the system that's in place right now, it must collapse in order for this new system to come forth. The age of cash is coming to a rapid close. The age of a digital currency, eventually a one world digital currency, is rapidly approaching. I want to share with you my brother in Christ, Ty Green. Again, that's T.Y. Green on YouTube. He posted this article recently, and we've talked about FedNow before, folks, but it is exploding. And this is absolutely part of setting the infrastructure for the coming B system. Uh, we're going to read part of this article. This is uh, titled, FedNow can help your bank send and receive money instantly at any time. Here's how it works. Let me read some of this to you guys. You might know money transfer apps like Venmo and Zelle, but behind the scenes, banks and financial institutions utilize similar systems like the FedNow service, an instant payment service developed by the Federal Reserve. The instant payment system allows financial institutions to make swift payments and can also streamline timely bill payments. However, because it's not a consumer service money transfer app like Venmo, FedNow is only available for banks to adopt. Folks, a few months ago, me and many others were covering FedNow, how it was about to take off and take off pretty fast. And boy, are we seeing this explode right now. Listen to this. So far, more than 100 financial institutions are using FedNow, including major banks like JP Morgan, Chase, and Wells Fargo Bank. These institutions can offer instant payments to customers with eligible accounts through their banking features like mobile apps or banking websites. Folks, that's insane. Do you see how fast this is taking off? Again, more than 100 financial institutions are using FedNow currently, including major banks like JP Morgan, Chase, and Wells Fargo Bank. Again, folks, this is all about conditioning people, getting their minds to get off of the current system or the old system and getting them ready for the new system spoken of in the book of Revelation chapter 13. Again, a system that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. A system that will be able to control all buying and selling. So no, the rapture has not occurred yet. The tribulation period has not occurred yet. The beast system is not in full effect right now. The mark of the beast has not been implemented because the mark of the beast will not be implemented until during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet. However, we see very clearly the stage is getting set. The infrastructure is getting all set up for this coming beast system. And if we know the rapture occurs before the tribulation period even begins, and we see the tribulation period continuing to cast its shadow on the earth right now, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day, very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 
verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow was not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.